Our last topic that we'll talk about today is on acid rain. Now 10.54. Can't wait to be done. I'm sure you feel the same way. Um, if it makes you feel better, as of right now, I'm sure I'm sitting somewhere under a tent in five layers of clothes, wishing that I was actually there teaching this concept. Um, the spring has been tough. So acid rain. Uh, once again, like last time, we're just going to look through my web page uh, to work through acid rain and make it bigger. All right. So if you don't get all this, this is on the website. Um, for the lab book, I mean, let's just talk through it all. Just make sure to pay attention. Now, the components that make up acid rain are produced through many everyday processes, but mainly as a byproduct of the gasoline engine and electrical generation. In power generation, coal is burned and the excess waste is put out the smokestack. One of these byproducts is elemental sulfur. As sulfur is burned with the coal, it combines with oxygen in the air to form sulfur di and trioxide. This is a simple composition reaction. Okay, so if I remember in your notes, first thing it says, write an equation for the burning of sulfur in air. That is this that we're talking about. Never mind. Um, it's S plus O2 goes to SO2 and then or SO3. All right, it's a little bit more complex, but for this class, that's good enough. So that's your first blank. Now, once the sulfur has combined with the oxygen, the sulfur dioxide is released into the atmosphere through the smokestack. This will then blow everywhere the wind blows. As the sulfur dioxide goes on its trip, it begins to combine with the water in the air. This is a more complicated composition reaction. So we have H2O plus SO3 goes to H2. Excuse me, H2SO4. Let's see if that's the second thing in the notes. I believe that it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's two parts here. First it says, what did it have to do on the acidity of the distilled water? You don't know that yet, but the equation for number two is the second equation. H2O plus SO3 goes to H2SO4. All right, so now we have a problem. We have acid in the atmosphere. Sulfur has formed an acid that will be carried in the clouds until the next rainstorm. Unfortunately for the area under the storm, the acid will fall from the sky, gather in the rivers, and collect in reservoirs. This collection of acid rain leads to many environmental and economic problems. All right, now we don't really have a problem here in America, well, I should say America, in the West um, with acid rain. But in the northeast, they have a huge problem with acid rain. It's killed off forests. Uh, and it's killed off fish. Man, this is bad. <laughs> I apologize. Um, and done all sorts of damage. Okay. Then on here, I have a few resources that you can go to. These, this is pretty old, so I'm not surprised that didn't work. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, I want to do. Why don't you do that? All right, there we go. All right, but what is important is this map of pH levels. Um, as you can see, we're green, uh, but as you move to the east, it's orange um, and dark orange. Things become more acidic. It looks to me like there in Pennsylvania. Um, that might be where some of the lowest are, the 4.4, 4.4, and then near Buffalo, New York, is a 4.3. Um, so they have some very serious issues as far as the pH levels um, in their stream waters and in their reservoirs. You will use this map for a homework problem. 